Hey, sports fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here with the Week 13 NFL Picks. So, let's recap Week 12 and overall. In Week 12, I was 10-4, and four, and that puts me at 105 and 68 on the year, and I have gone over the coveted 60% mark, and um, I am almost at 61%. So back-to-back, uh, -back, really back-to-back -back good weeks after that horrible four-win um, week that I had three weeks ago. Um, but then I went 11-3 um, 11, 11 and 3 and 10-4, and 4, so doing pretty good. And I need to keep keep on that kind of a roll. So this week we've got three games on Thursday, Thanksgiving Day. And the first of those is the traditional matchup of the Bears and the Lions. And I'm going to go with the Bears in this one. The Lions are horrible. They couldn't even beat the Redskins. I mean, normally... Normally, I wouldn't put a lot of faith in my Bears, but I think they can beat the Lions. Uh, the next one is the Cowboys against the Bills. And I'm going to give the slight edge in this one to the Cowboys because they're home. Not because they're good, because they're really not. And their coach apparently is in a lot of trouble. So, um, yeah, Garrett has one foot out the door, but they, um, but you know, the Cowboys are home and the bills, I mean, they're, they're eight and three, but they, that's, that's not a solid eight and three. Take my word for it. So now we've got the saints at, uh, at the Falcons. And of course I'm going to go with the saints in this one. Take the saints. Because the Falcons, no. The Falcons are a mess. And the only reason that they're not the worst, well, the only, truly the only reason they're not the worst team in the NFL is because there's a team called the Bengals. So now the next game that we've got is, uh, now we're moving to the Sunday games. Those were the Thursday Thanksgiving Day games. You watch the parade, and then you sit through those three games is what happens. And then Sunday, we have the Colts at home against the Titans. I'm going to go with the Colts. I'm not really 100% um, enthusiastic about that pick because both teams are wildly inconsistent. And you never know, they're like Jekyll and Hyde. You never know which one you're going to get. But Brissett should be, if he isn't back yet, he should be back soon. And maybe in time for that game. And if Brissett's back, then I definitely like, like the Colts in that game. But like I said, both teams, I mean, I think they're about the same. It's like playing the same team against the same team. Uh, then you got the... Um, Jets and the Bengals. And the Bengals are home in this one, but I'm still going to go with the Jets because the Bengals haven't won a game yet. I mean, at least, you know, at least the Jets have, like, what have they got? Three wins and they beat the Cowboys. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go with the Jets on that one. Now, this one is the uh, Ravens at home against the 49ers. And I'm taking the Ravens in this only because the Ravens are at home. They do, lately they've looked really like world beaters. Like they could even beat the Patriots again, which they already did once. But yeah, they, they look really, they look tough. And they're at home, so I'm going to give them the edge against the 49ers, even though the 49ers did take the Green Bay Packers out behind the woodshed last week. 
Um, and they made kind of a believer out of me, but I still, I don't know, against that Ravens team, a lot of teams can't come up with a defense against that offense. So the next one we have is the uh, Steelers at home against the Browns. This one I'm going with the Steelers. There we go. Turn the helmet around so you can see the uh, Steelers sign. I'm going with the Steelers in this one because even though they did lose the last one, I think the bad blood is going to um, rile the Steelers up. And really, I think they're about as good a team as the Browns are because both teams have serious issues. And uh, it's not like the Browns are clearly better than the Steelers. There's no way. So the next one we have is the Eagles at the Dolphins. This one's in Miami, but I'm going with the Eagles because even though the Eagles have not played that well and Wentz doesn't look like he's really the man in Philly, like they're going to have to find another man, but um, they still got to be better than the Dolphins, even with the Dolphins at home. Uh, the next one we've got is the Panthers at home against the Redskins. Yeah, I'm going with the Panthers. The Redskins, they uh, they beat the Lions last week, but I think we're finding out that the Lions are a paper lion. Uh, the next one we have is the uh, Buccaneers over the Jags. The Jags are at home in this one, but really, is one or the other really at home? It's both Florida teams. But anyway, yeah, I'm going with the uh, Buccaneers to beat the Jaguars because the Jaguars aren't very good. Really, the Buccaneers aren't either, but I think they're probably a slightly better team. Uh, the next one we have is the... Um, Cardinals at home against the Rams, and yeah, look at that. I'm taking the Cardinals. It's crazy. I know it's crazy, but I'm taking the Cardinals. I just have a feeling. I just got a feeling about it. I don't. The Rams are just not the team that they were last year, and I think the Cardinals are learning on the job. Their um, their young core, um, their guys, they're getting better every week. And they've and they've come close to winning some games that they lost. So I just got a feeling about it. They're probably not the favored team, and they probably won't be. But I, I got a feeling that the uh, Cardinals are going there to uh, figure out a way to beat the Rams. Now the next one we have is the Chiefs at home against the Raiders. I'm going with the Chiefs, uh, especially since the. Uh, Raiders got upset last week. I mean, I thought they were starting to put things together, but apparently whatever they were starting to put together, it fell apart again. Uh, the next one we have is the uh, Packers against the Giants. The Giants are at home in this one, but I'm going to go with the Packers, even though they just got their um, butts handed to them by the 49ers. But it is the 49ers who only have a single loss on the season. And uh, the team they're playing is the Giants. So, you know, no, it's not it's not even good. So now we've got the uh, Broncos at home against the Chargers. I'm going with the Broncos because they're home. And, uh, you know, they're up there in the altitude. And the Chargers, again, another inconsistent team, doesn't play up to their to the expectations quite a bit this season. And uh, that's how it goes. And so now we have the uh, Patriots going down to Houston. I'm still going to take the Patriots. You know, there's a lot of faulty information out there about how Brady has this injured shoulder or uh, elbow or something. No, he doesn't have anything injured. It's just Belichick trying to throw people off their game. So I'm taking the I'm taking the Patriots in that one. Um, and really, 
Well, no, I don't want to say. No, I won't even go there. I was going to say if the if even if Brady didn't play, they'd beat the Texans, but they might not. But definitely, if Brady even like even takes his injured elbow ass out there, they're going to beat him. So now we have the. Uh, uh, the last game that I'm going to review is the Monday night game, and this is the Seahawks at home over the Vikings. And that's how I'm going to play it, too. They're going to be over the Vikings. They're going to beat the Vikings. Because the Vikings do um, tend to have uh, trouble with good teams. Particularly, Kirk Cousins has trouble beating good teams, and the Seahawks are at home. And, you know, you've got the 12th man there in Seattle. So, that's how that goes. So, anyway, those are my picks. What do you guys think of them? Um, subscribe to the channel. You want to stay on top of these picks? I mean, I'm hot, so, you know, you could take my picks to Vegas. So, um, yeah, let me know how you feel about the picks uh, down below in the comments. Leave me a thumbs up if you like the, uh, if you like the picks and uh, you think pretty much, yeah, I'm right. Let me know which ones you disagree with me on. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who disagree on quite a few of these games, especially the Cardinals game. But, hey, who knows? And, uh, you know, same deal with the uh, contact information. There's my Twitter, there's my Instagram, and there's my email on the bottom. You can contact me through any of those forms. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Ring the bell so that you're notified when I have a new video out. Share the video with your friends, with anybody you can think of that might be interested, anybody that likes sports, anybody that likes the White Sox, NFL football the Islanders in hockey or hockey in general, share the videos and uh, let everybody know. And then uh, I'll be playing to a bigger audience and uh, we can uh, keep this rolling. So anyway, uh, for right now, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.